Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast Discussions on my favorite games, movies, TV shows, anime, comic books, collectibles, and other fun content for gamers and geeks. I'm your host, Jeremy. Welcome to the show. Welcome back to Video Gamers Voices Playful Podcast. I'm your host, Jeremy. And I'm back again with another podcast uh, episode. And I thought uh, it's actually uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, uh, January 5th, 2021. And I thought it would be a kind of a creative and unusual idea that might work. We'll see how it works for a few weeks. Um, I've created a new segment f- for this podcast series. And uh, it-, it will be called... Uh, Text Adventure Tuesdays. Yes, that's right, folks. I've decided to start a segment where I'm going to be reading and playing a ret- very retro style text adventure game. Some of you may have remember playing these games in the late 70s, early 80s. I remember playing them as a kid. Um, in in in, school, in computer class, we would have access to these Zork games or these retro point clicker clunk click style uh fantasy uh so dungeon dragon style games and uh i really enjoyed them it really uh forced you to use your your mind's eye because it's all text it's all black and white or blue and white or blue and black or different you know just text uh, a text adventure game uh with various uh alternate endings like a choose your own adventure game so for our first game that i'm going to be doing on text adventure tuesday just want to let you know what i'm doing here uh we have this game software called windows frots that's windows frots and the uh, frots is spelled f-r-o-t-z you can google it up it's a, a free uh, open source software you can download for your own enjoyment it plays basically retro style games, uh, text adventure games, and you can download various uh, free, open to the public uh, text adventure games, uh, in, to play onto this on the software emulator. And the game that I'm excited to play is Zork, a Trolls Eye View. Now this is not the original Zork game. Many of you have come to love. Um, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm pla- actually, I'd like to play the original Zork in the future, but right now it's an interactive, it's sort of like a, a text adventure a game, uh, pa- almost like a satire. So let's read the, um, what the text on the game reads. We're going to read it and we're going to play this game for a maximum of 30 minutes. We're not going to go over, uh, we'll just see how far I can go, but we're not going to go over 30 minutes. Just to give you guys a, a brief introduction, a little taste of what I'm starting to do. If you like what I what I'm doing, you can definitely give it a like, because this video, this uh, text adventure, this uh, podcast episode will be posted on my YouTube channel, Video Gamers Oasis on YouTube. Subscribe and click the notification bell if you haven't already, and it will also be uh, shared on my website, VideoGamersOasis.com. I appreciate your feedback. If you like this creative idea. Uh, if you if you have some ideas for in the future for text adventure games you would like me to play in the future after I play this one, please let me know. So here we go. Reading Zork, a troll's eye view. And it says here on top of the Windows, uh, underneath the Windows Frots title, it says the troll room. It's not much of a job, but the dungeon master was looking for a guard troll. So you volunteered. You were given the standard issue axe and told to, well, guard. Zork, a troll's eye view. 
An Interactive Tedium by Dylan O'Donnell. And his email is dylanw at demon.net. Type info for the story behind it. Zork is a registered trademark of Activision Incorporated. Use with permission. Release 3 forward slash serial number 980518 forward slash inform v6.15 library 6 forward slash 7. And I've got my little bit of a chocolate milk. A little cookie ready for the adventure. I hope you got your snack ready. The troll room. A little sip of my beverage here. The troll room. This is a small room with passages to the east and south and a forbidding, forbidding hole leading west. Blood stains and deep scratches, perhaps made by an ax, mar the walls. So it said in the beginning to type info for our story behind this game. Let's type it info for the story. I want to know more about this game. Info. Uh, okay. Uh, there's a question. There's three questions here. Why did you write this game? Who are you? And acknowledgments. So why did you write this game? Enter. I'm gonna put my mar microphone on a stand here so I can rest my hands and I'll have to hold this microphone all the time. I'm going to get a better microphone holder stand in the future. It's a study of the relative paradigms of moral identity in classic and modern IF, if interactive fiction, intended to throw sidelights on the motivation of the player and of the NPCs or non-playing characters and their relative role in plot construction and development. Please press space. So why did you really write this game done? Let's go move the cursor down to who are you? Who are you? Dylan O'Donnell, born in New Forest, Hampshire, England. Currently working for Demon Internet in South End, Essex. Longtime lurker, an occasional poster, usually about off topic things, on rec. Dot brackets games or square brackets games uh, forward slash or not forward slash line divider arts brack of uh, square bracket dot int dash fiction comma inter alia inter inter and alia are separated do i get to mention an additional an addiction to babylon 5 here no shame i do remember watching babylon 5 with my friends uh, we, we were big my friends were really star trek ner nerds and they would also watch babylon 5 and i would enjoy um I remember the episode with uh, there were various episodes. It was very, it was very much close to uh, Deep Space Nine, and I remember the episode with the uh, there was like a mysterious octopus, uh, intelligent octopus creature in a shell, in a shell that this monk guy with a uh, a big uh, wooden staff used his his influence his power of influence to get the octopoid alien out of the shell so that's another story <laughs> but i do remember that episode he was searching for the holy grail by the way press space okay 
Who are you? Question answered. Acknowledgements. Acknowledgements. People who'd probably hate to be associated with this and probably don't know why I'm thanking them, but whom I ought to mention for one reason or another. David, quote-unquote, flatterer, Dite. Excuse me. Lucian, quote-unquote, Lucian, end quote, Smith. Neil DeMaz, M-A-U-S-E. Dan, quote-unquote, Inky, Shiovitz. David Wildstrom. L. Ross Razuski. Andrew Plotkin. Zach Arnston. Gareth Rees. Graham, quote-unquote, Off Course. Nelson. And all those Rafe, R-A-I-F, Rafe posters, whose questions and answers I plundered via Dave Deja News. Most of the game text that I haven't made up on the spot was taken from Dungeon, some other from Zork, which, as it's said in the blurb, is a registered trademark of Activision Incorporated and is used with permission. Cheers, comma, layered. In brackets. Note that this game is freeware. Do with it what you will. Bar hacking it about and not saying that you've done so. Got it. Pr- please press space. All right. I want to return to uh, uh, next subject. NNN. Read subject. I want to get back to the game. Resume game is Q. P is previous. Tro- the troll room. This is a small room with passages to the east and south and a forbidding hole leading west. Blood stains and deep scratches, perhaps made by an axe, mar the walls. What shall I do? All right, this small room, a small room with passages to the east and south and a forbidding hole leading west. Blood stains, deep scratches, mar the walls. Let's look up, examine, uh, Type in examine. Blood stains. Can't see such a thing. Look at type in blood stains. There, that's not a verb I recognize. Okay. Uh, deep scratches. A verb. Okay. A room, small room. They want me to use verbs. Uh, let's go east. You're meant to guard this room, not the passageway. South. You're meant to guard this room, not the cellar. Forbidding hole. Forbidding hole. It's not a verb I recognize. Uh, walls. Look. All right, troll room. This is a small room with passages to the east and south and a forbidding hole leading west. Blood stains and deep scratches made by an axe mar the walls. Touch walls. Okay, uh, touch. What do you want to touch? Yes, blood stains. Touch. You want to touch walls. Touch. What do you want to touch? Uh, deep scratches. Deep scratches. Uh, Look, look. Okay, um, examine. What do you want to examine? Deep scratches. Can't see such a thing. 
Examine. What do you want to examine? Um, hole. Examine. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep experimenting until I uh, find what I'm looking. What's supposed to do? Fitting. Hole. Speak. To yourself. There is no reply. <laughs> Walk. You have to say which compass direction to go. Okay, now I think we're gonna, I'm supposed to go now. Walk east. Walk east. You're meant to guard this room, not the passageway. Walk. Forbidding. Pull. Walk west. Passages through there are twisty and all alike. You don't want to get lost. Look. Look west. I only understand it you so far you want to look. Okay. Uh, walk west. Passages through there are twisty and all lock. Ah, oh, I don't get list. Is there any a list is there a list of no, there's not a list of uh, words to use. Um, look, speak, um, examine, examine west. You see nothing special about the west wall. Okay, west, I mean, examine, examine a bit more, examine. What do you want to examine? East, you see nothing special about the east wall. Examine. Um, north. See nothing special about the north wall. Uh, examine. South. See nothing about the south wall. Best. Examine. Passages. Okay. Examine. Room. Examine room. You can't see such a thing. Uh, okay. Uh, examine. Blood stains. Examine. Axe. Okay, axe. You see, you see nothing special about the bloody axe. A slippery character with a large bag just wandered through the room. You nod to him. One professional to another. A slippery character with a large bag. All right. Um, talk. Speak. To slippery character. Chase. Slippery chase uh, attack we want to attack slippery character oh grab cake large bag To speak to slippery character. Look. Where are the walls? Okay. Like slippery character did not uh, was not any of any threat. So let's look. Um, Look at. Do a look at. Blood stains. Look at walls. 
What? Go. Go west. Messages, they're all twisty and all like you don't want to get lost. Look at west. Something special about the west wall. Look at walls. Examine room. Look. Small room with passages to east and south and a forbidding hole leading west. Blood stains and deep scratches, perhaps made by an act, mar the walls. Uh, examine. What else can I look at here? Look at yourself. Examine. Okay, that's not going to work. Um, the walls, we can't say it. Uh, touch. You want to touch. Ground. Touch. Or you feel nothing is unexpected. Touch axe. Nothing expected. Touch walls. Touch. We want to touch yourself. I don't know. I can't see such a thing. Touch axe. Oh, touch the axe. You feel nothing expected. And Xander strides in from the from the south, carrying a brass Latin lantern. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. While your eyes adjust to the sudden light, he most unsportingly attacks you. The adventurer's swing misses you by an inch. Use axe. Um, attack. You want to attack. Adventurer. Adventurer. Your axe bashes in the adventurer's skull. The body of the adventurer and all his possessions suddenly dis disappear in a puff of orange smoke. <coughs> what happened? Look. This is the same. Look at adventurer I've killed the adventurer but he disappeared in a puff of orange smoke well, look at I'm going to look at orange smoke can't see anything look at wall which do you mean the north wall, the south wall, east wall, west wall northwest wall Oh, there's a northwest wall, northeast. Okay, there's a south, north. Okay, there's different, more than just north, south, east, west. There's north. Look at northeast wall. Nothing special. Nothing special. Look at northwest wall. Nothing special. Look at south. East wall. Look at southwest wall. Can I go southwest? You walk straight into a wall. Doesn't really hurt, but doesn't get you very far either. Okay, uh, there you go. Go southeast. Walk straight in the hole. Go. South, go northwest. 
You walk straight into a wall. It doesn't really hurt, but it doesn't get you very far over either. An adventurer strides in from the south, carrying a brass lantern. While your eyes adjust to the sudden light, he most unsportingly attacks you. A savage blow on the thigh. You are hurt, but can maybe still fight. Uh, fight. Who do you, why do you want to fight? Adventurer. Your axe barely misses the adventurer's ear. Clang, crash. You parry the adventurer's sword. Fight. Fight the adventurer. Your axe swings down, gashing the adventurer's shoulder. A mighty sword blow misses you by a mile. Fight. Fight adventurer. Ring. Your axe crashes against a rock, throwing sparks. The force of the adventurer's blow knocks you back, stunned. Fight. Adventurer. Adventure charges, but you jump nimbly aside. You regain your balance. Fight. Adventure. You charge and slash the adventure on his sword arm. It appears that the last blow was too much for him. He's dead. The body of the adventure and all his possessions suddenly disappear in a puff of orange smoke. That's weird. Why does it keep disappearing? Go north east. Walk straight into the wall. Go north west. Go east. I'm meant to guard the room, not the passageway. So basically all we're doing here is we're just guarding a room. West passages are all twisty and like you don't want to get lost. Go west. Uh, look west. I only understand you as far as wanting to look. Go north. You walk straight into a wall. Doesn't really hurt, but doesn't get you very far either. An adventurer strides in from the south, carrying a brass lantern. While your eyes just to the sudden light, she most unsportingly attacks you. Slash, her blow lands. That one hit an artery. It could be serious. Speak to adventurer. There is no reply. You receive a deep gash in your side. From the elvish blade. It appears that the last blow was too much for you. You have died. Dun, dun, dun. Now let's take a look here. No, I don't think you deserve another chance. You are only a troll after all. You are still dead. In that game, you killed two adventurers in 48 turns. Would you like to restart, restore, or save game or quit? All right. Uh, I think we, we're getting an idea of how to play this game. Restart. And we're going to save this game just so we can continue on uh, in the future. Um, save it. Troll. We'll, date, we'll save the date as 1 5 2021. Okay, save. Look. All room patches east and okay. East. Go east. Go northeast. Go right straight into a wall. That's really hurt. Go bloodstains. Go wall. Go. Southwest wall. You walk straight into a wall. Doesn't really hurt, but doesn't get you far either. I think the idea 
since this is not, this is not a real uh, uh, traditional adventure game, you're basically a troll guarding a room, and you have to attack and kill as many adventurers as possible. Go north, northwest. Walk straight into a wall. Go south, east. Into a wall. Go west wall. Passages through there are twisty and all alike. You don't want to get lost. Go uh, south wall. You're meant to guard the room. Guard. And a fine figure of a guard, you look. <laughs> Guard room. Gar, um, go. Okay, folks, it's been over 30 minutes, 30 minutes and seven seconds to be exact. And I'm going to take a bit of a little break here. Uh, actually, it's a weird, weird game. It's just a troll with a axe guarding a room while different adventures come in. Uh, I was already fought a couple of, uh, destroyed a couple of adventures, but a, a young young lady, uh, elven adventurer, she slashed me with her sword and uh, defeated me. I tried to speak to her and she ended up slaughtering me. So I'm, I've, I've restarted the game, I've saved it uh, with the date, and I'll be playing another Tuesday in the future. So tune in next uh, next Tuesday. We'll continue our adventure with uh, with our our character, the troll in the game. Uh, the game that we've been playing is uh, Zork, uh, I believe it's called. We'll be playing another day uh, another Tuesday. Zork, a troll's eye view. It's a very satirical, very comical, uh, goofy little text adventure game. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be playing other text adventure games in the future. I want to complete this game and then we'll move on to other ones. I hope you had a good time. This uh, this, tech, this uh, podcast episode will be shared on my YouTube channel, Video Gamers Oasis on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell uh, for notifications of future videos. And also my website, videogamersoasis.com. Thanks for tuning in to Anchor.fm. Big, big thanks to Anchor FM for an awesome... Uh, Pro, uh, platform for me to share my love of games and uh, sci-fi, fantasy, other geek stuff. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you have a really happy and exciting and fulfilling 2021. We'll talk to you again in another day when I have some more creative ideas as well. Take care of each other. Till next time. Bye. This is Jeremy from Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast. Hi, this is Jeremy from Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast, VideoGamersOasis.com, and Video Gamers Oasis on Twitch. You know, when I'm in the middle of a very uh, stressful game, we're requiring a great deal of problem solving, or I'm just at my computer doing a lot of hard work, I require a great deal of energy and focus. And all of that energy and focus can get drained very quickly. That's why I, I'm proud to, uh, to announce that I'm presently just started uh, to promote a new product that I'm sponsored and I'm affiliated with God Mode Energy and Focus from Pyre. New Tropic Energy and Focus. God Mode was designed to enhance your ability to focus and perform through powerful new tropics and brain boosting nutrition, caffeine included, for an extra boost of energy. Improved reaction time, stronger focus, reduced mental fatigue, cognitive benefits, sustained attention, response, inhibition, speed of information processing, cognitive flexibility and control, multiple simultaneous attention, working memory, category formation, pattern recognition. The flavor that I chose for my uh, streams, at least for the time being, is the, the uh, I've chose the flavor 
Lethal Lemonade. It's a very delicious uh, citrus flavor. And I mix it in my special cup that, that I uh, have ready for me in every video stream. Give it a good shake. And then I guzzle it down whenever I need that refreshing blend of nutritious ingredients. The I would highly recommend that you get yourself a God Mode Energy and Focus. Regular price, price $55. Coupon code is Video Gamers Oasis. You get a significant 10% discount or more. Make sure to go to https colon forward slash forward slash bit.ly forward slash 3ROPNGI. And don't forget to get the Pyre Shaker Cups BPA free. Regular price $16.99. Coupon code Video Gamers Oasis. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash bit dot LY forward slash 3RO capital C M I S. This makes a great gift for that special uh, streamer in your life. Check out God Mode Energy and Focus. Video Gamers Oasis Website YouTube Channel